It was revered by the Aztecs as a god, and there's something miraculous about the ajolote, an amphibian unique to Mexico. It can rejuvenate its arms, legs, even parts of its brain and heart. But that hasn't stopped it from almost disappearing from the world. Now the country's Chapultepec Zoo in Mexico City has opened a new center to help save it. 40 years ago, all the children in Mexico City had an axolotl in, in, in our home, uh, in an aquarium, and we could buy it in any aquarium. It was all over. Nowadays, it's just so difficult to find it in the wild. So that's why it, it, it is so important to have it in zoos and aquariums. The center has a laboratory where ajolotes are furiously reproducing. The, the eggs are uh, transparent and you can see the larva growing. The end game is to try and introduce them back into the world, but that's a way off yet. Almost all of the country's ajolotes are in captivity, and that's because their natural habitat, the wetlands of the Xochimilco district, are too polluted and full of invasive species for them to survive there. These ancient waterways, once the basis of Aztec Mexico, are now full of tilapia fish and red-eared slider turtles, which compete for food with the ajolotes and even eat them. Center head Lizette Contreras and staff are hoping that by educating the public, they can help save not just the ajolotes, but the wetlands themselves, home to more than 10% of the country's biodiversity. The replica ajolotes and eggs help. A female ajolote can produce from 50 to more than 1,000 eggs, depending on its species. Even young Mexicans who will never have seen an ajolote in the wild know how important this animal is to their nation. It's a Mexican symbol. It represents the country. When we talk about ajolotes, we are talking about Mexico. That importance could extend to the wider world too. An animal that can regrow its limbs and internal organs, the medical world is already digging into its secret. Meanwhile, here at the zoo, they just want to see it survive and flourish. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.